You expect to find Cheetos in a bowl or a bag, not in a field. Yet there it is, a sculpture that even the snack's mascot would call... Dangerously cheesy. You'd be surprised how many people want to get up close and personal with a giant Cheeto at any given moment. We probably got about 40 to 50 people here so far. That's about half the population of Cheetle, Alberta, Canada. The makers of Cheetos commissioned the 17-foot-tall sculpture created by a local company that makes movie props. Cheetle's board of directors was happy to have it here. And I mean, it's putting you guys on the map, right? <laughs> Our hamlet isn't getting anything out of this other than... A lot of tourists rolling through our town. Most of them posing for selfies. It's the real deal. Often posing with Cheetos in hand, though this guy opted to pose with a competition behind enemy lines, as he put it. The makers of Cheetos chose Cheetle because Cheetle sounds like Cheetle, which is their name for the orange dust you end up having to wipe off your hands or lick off your fingers. So many people wanted to handle the Cheeto that soon a sign went up. Please do not climb fence or Cheeto hand statue. The Cheeto is only here till early November. But like a bag of Cheetos, it won't last long. Until then, tourists are eating it up, as were we. <laughs> well, this tourist would probably eat anything. And this guy cheated his Cheeto selfie to make it look like he was biting off more than he could chew. A true crowd pleaser. Genie Mouse, CNN, New York.